Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. <laughs> so yeah, I have been busy since last episode. Once again, I've used my turtle buddy to dig down to diamond level in I think two more places. Maybe it was just one, I can't remember. But I have collected a lot of resources. I've harvested all my potatoes, put them in that chest over there, replanted just to let more grow. Not really running out of food anytime soon, so <laughs> yeah, it's just good to have a good stockpile of food in the future, so in case I do need it, well, I guess more correctly, when I do need it, it'll be available to me. So since last episode, I have since set up a macerator, a generator, and a battery box. Uh, the generator, I believe, is the lowest tier energy producer. Um... You put coal or something that burns in the bottom here. Sticks would work too, I believe. And it converts uh, the energy from burning into power. And with a generator, if you don't have it connected to a battery box, it'll produce power until whatever it's burning goes away, until it runs out, and then it stops producing power. But uh, <laughs> you pretty much waste all the power because it doesn't really store any power as far as I know. Just whatever is in this bar and once that runs out. So if you put 30 coal in here, it'll use up all the coal. This will fill up and it'll just be wasting all the energy basically. So you connect the generator to a battery box. This can store some energy. It also has a battery meter here. And then you can connect the battery box to other things that use the power. So in this case, the macerator. I don't have anything to macerate right now, but you put iron in there. You get two iron dust out. That uses a little bit of power. It draws the power from the battery box. And when the battery box runs low, you can just put in some more coal into this. It fills this back up. And then you're not really wasting your energy that way. That's kind of basic stuff for uh, these mods. For those of you who uh, haven't played Feed the Beast or Industrial Craft Build Craft, that's kind of how this works. This is like the lowest tier stuff. And yeah, the Macerator. <laughs> Let me show you this. Requires three diamonds. Let me. Whoops, wrong button. Yeah. Requires three diamonds, four flint. Uh, I use an advanced circuit and then a machine block. So, kind of expensive, but you get double your ore that you put into it. So, it's kind of worth it. And then over here, I just have my iron furnace still. I haven't really upgraded any of this stuff. I just wanted to get this macerator going so I wasn't. Or so I'd, you know, get double ores for everything that I was mining. So this is what I've collected so far. See, my iron supply is doing really good now. So since the macerator gives me twice the amount of ore, or twice the amount of dust, which smelts into ore, or into these ingots, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I've collected about half of this in uh, ore form, and then I've macerated and then smelted it. So we got quite a lot of stuff here. Uh, aluminum blocks, I'm really not sure what this aluminum's for, but I smelted it down, we got a little bit more here. Quick, quick silver I got lots of these sapphires and rubies now these are used uh, I know you can make tools out of them and things but let's see if we click this we can turn them into these energy crystals and they're also used in mining lasers uh, alternatively you can use diamonds in this pl in place of this for these energy crystals so I think I would rather use rubies for these instead but these energy crystals are used for an MFE or these uh, high voltage transformers. But the MFE stores a whole lot of power. This battery over here, this battery box stores 40,000. I think the MFE stores like 500,000, so half a million, something like that. But yeah, that, that would be the next upgrade step. So yeah, we're progressing, we're progressing, <laughs> making progress here. Okay, so... I have 43 levels of experience on me right now, and that's something I've been kind of deciding what I wanted to do, and I think I want to make a, an enchanting table so I can throw some level 1s on this stuff. Oh, I also made these rubber boosts, which is kind of like feather falling, but they have a durability. After they absorb so much damage, they break. Uh, but yeah, I need to go get... Well, I guess I could kill a cow, right? I need to get leather so I can make a book. Um... <laughs> I know the village over here had those bookshelves, and actually I should probably just go over to the village real quick and grab one of the books from those bookshelves. 
Let's make the enchanting table. We have that, that, and that. Very good. And where is... There it is. So just make the... Wait, what was that? Obsidian stick. What is that used for? Hit <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, wireless transceiver. Wireless receiver. This must be red power, I think. This looks like red power stuff. I don't know anything about that mod at all. That looks kind of cool. R E theory module. Anyway, let's make our enchanting table. No, probably somebody's gonna leave in the comments. Don't make an enchanting table for whatever reason that I don't know. <laughs> oh man. So let me throw some enchants on these things. Let's see what we can get. There is I have 43 levels, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, projectile protection aqua affinity. That's pretty good. What do we got on this one? Projectile protection, yeah. And these are not enchantable. Okay, so let me put some enchants on my sword here. Bane of arthropods, of course. I wouldn't expect anything different on a, sh on a sword. I'm breaking, and this is almost gone, so I'm just going to throw an enchant on it. Efficiency, not bad. Let's put something on the bow, power one. Okay, so now we're all enchanted up. I feel much better. Even though it's not the best enchantments in the world, it'll get us by. So these two books, I can probably put those away. So kind of like my miscellaneous chest is my, where I'm keeping cobblestone and stuff. These are like miscellaneous mod things. And my farming and mob drops. <laughs> I really would like to get a storage room set up. I have things just scattered all around. It's getting crazy here. Uh, so today... Now that we've enchanted, we made the enchanting table, I want to go to the nether. I want to start collecting things to make a blast furnace. So we need magma cream, we need soul sand, and we need, what is it, um, nether brick. Oh yeah, but yeah, one more thing. This macerator required the advanced circuit. The advanced circuit requires glowstone dust. And it just so happened that village over there, remember that one tower I thought was a church? It had a glowstone in there, so I broke and got three glowstone dust out of it. And I got one left here. So that's why I made the advanced circuit for this macerator. Okay, so yeah, I also want to collect glowstone because glowstone dust is used in a lot of crafting recipes as well. So let's grab this guy. I have flint somewhere around. There we go. And then I have a cobblestone on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and let's have one of these. And am I going to make it the right way this time? It's steel and flint. This way? Up and down? There we go. Still never can make that the right way the first time. Uh, so, por portal, portal, portal. Where do we want the portal? Uh, I don't want it next to my base because it's annoying. Maybe I'll stick it over here where we have those mines and things that I had the turtle dig last episode. Yeah, let's come over here. We'll place it over here. should be out of earshot so we're not hearing it make it sound all the time. Okay, so it appears the map doesn't really work here. I assume because it is a surface map and at the very top of the nether... Whoa, there's lava right there. Oh, man. Let me block that off. That almost just landed right on my face. Ooh. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I assume the map, the mini-map does not work because the ceiling of the nether is what's exposed to the air. That's what it's going to be looking at. And the ceiling should all be bedrock. Man, that really was scary. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, well that's taken care of. Um, so we're gonna need to. There's ores and stuff in here. What is this? This is stuff that I've never seen. I saw this red stuff right away. What is this? This is cinnabar dust. Hmm, and redstone. Oh, look at this. I'm just gonna mine a few of these and see if it gives me anything else. Cinnabar dust and redstone, huh? Oh, this pick is just about to break too, I'm noticing. Man. Okay. So redstone and cinnabar dust. I don't know what the cinnabar dust is used for, but I know the cinnabar ore that I mined. I smelted that into quicksilver. Hmm. Okay. So here we are back in the nether. Now we got soul sand right here, which is good, but there's this other ore up here that I kind of want to take a look at. Not sure what this stuff is. That is spathrite dust. <laughs> Sa salar sa 
It's Z-N-S. That's what it is. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Um, let's see what this is used for. Hit U. This turns into a tiny pile of it. Wait a second. Um, oh, this is Industrial Craft 2 Crafting. Huh. Okay, so this turns into sulfur or zinc using an industrial electrolyzer. Mm, that could be useful, I guess. I don't, I don't know what this stuff is used for. Okay. Right, so those are the only two new things I can see right off the bat. A lot of glowstone, easily accessible. There's some more right there. What we got below the big lava lake. <laughs> Yeah, I know these lava leaks are awesome for collecting lava. You can use the lava to power uh, a geothermal generator, which is similar to the generator I talked about earlier, except it runs off lava, and it's actually smart. It doesn't waste the energy like the regular generator does. It only uses what it needs. Like, it doesn't just burn it until it's out of fuel. It'll stop until it needs to produce more, so it's kind of cool. Okay, um, these guys seem really loud. Maybe I just have my headphones turned up too loud. I don't know. I'm um, still looking for a fortress, and I am not seeing one. I don't want to go too far and get lost. I should probably write down my coordinates. I would imagine it's probably close to zero, zero. Did I already get lost? <laughs> Is it over here that I came from? Yeah, I think it was. Um, I don't even remember what my coordinates are in the overworld, but yeah, so we're close to zero, zero. So if I remember that, then I can always get my way back here. Let's try going up this way and over this direction. Maybe, I'm hoping there's going to be a fortress nearby. I don't want to have to go for like hundreds of blocks to find one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, you're not going to drop me a magma cream? Get out of here. <laughs> so we got all of this soul sand that we need. Yeah, now we need to find magma cubes and a fortress. Come here, Gast. Come here. Oh, I missed him. Ah, I still missed him. Hey, you can see the arrows for like a long distance away now. Wow, they really increased the range on these things. They used to disappear. Hmm. Okay, so now I can kind of see how close I am to actually hitting those guys when... I'm doing those long distance shots. What the heck are these things? Oh, what the heck? Uh, so that's something I was not expecting. Some kind of a bat that explodes when it hits you and looks like it was on fire. Uh, okay, so new mobs in the nether to be worried about. <laughs> Man, those guys are crazy. Alright, so here's a magma cube. I'm gonna drop some magma cream for me. There's one, look like. Uh, maybe just one today. <laughs> yeah, I've been exploring the nether for just a little bit. I still have not found a fortress yet, which is disappointing. I'm sure I'm gonna come across one soon. Ah, speaking of, I think that's one right there, isn't it? Oh, there's one of those crazy bad things. Get off me. There's another one. <laughs> So those bats dropped gunpowder, apparently. Which makes sense, I guess that one exploded before on me. Okay, so here, yeah, here we go. Man, these ghasts. Glad I had a few arrows on me. These guys, oh, went right over his head. Come on. All right, here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Into our first fortress. This one spawned kind of high, so now we got these long towers down to the ground level. Looks like it continues over this way. And over here, hey look, there's a beehive in the nether, huh? I saw that these things spawned underground. Uh, one of those poke hole mines that my turtle made. Oh, look at that. Should I F3A? Will that fix that? Oh, what the heck? There's like an actual hole in the world there? Uh. Huh. Okay. Um... <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Let me actually start or stop and reload Minecraft. That might be some other problem, but it looks like it goes right through the fortress, so that'll be an issue. One second. Okay, well, whatever the problem was, saving and quitting fixed the issue. It was like an actual world hole. But yeah, there's these bees here in the nether, and I know I had, or I saw one underground that my turtle uncovered. 
Uh, I didn't, they kind of spawn in these weird places. I don't know about them too much. So let me see if I can just kind of make a staircase up here to this thing. This one is at... Oop, 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 let me get some blocks on the bar. This is at X... Negative 300 and Z70. Huh, okay. So it's kind of far away from where I spawned into the nether. But I can make like some kind of fast transport over here. If Miscraft ever gets added, or if I ever add it myself, I can just use a book to teleport into here. Okay, so... I guess the first thing I should do is check this out and see if uh, we have any blaze spawners. So it ends right over here. So it was a good thing I saw it where I did. Alright, so eat some food so we can continue to sprint. Um, I can't remember how many stone bricks we need for the blast furnace, but I'm probably going to collect maybe three stacks worth. I'll do that off camera. So here's some nether wart. This is also some good stuff that I'm going to want. Should probably just take this now. Set up another wart farm so I can make potions. Yeah, let's get all this. Okay. We have to remember to collect the soul sand. And oh yeah, I got the one magma cream. I know you can also make that out of the blaze powder and slimes, but I'm gonna have to find a swamp, I think, or some slime chunks and do some mining for that, which doesn't sound like a lot of fun. <laughs> so maybe I'll find a swamp somewhere. Careful, so there's a lower level below. It's gas right there. <laughs> so let's see what else is here. Doesn't look like the generation has changed at all from the mods, which I was kind of interested in seeing if that was the case. There's a blaze. So is that a... Oh, is that the same fortress or is that different? Where did that guy shoot from? Right there. Whoop. Bad shot. Another bad shot. Oh, come on now. There we go. So this might be a different one? I don't know. There is a blaze spawner there, so that's good. I know if you have the portal mod the portal gun mod you can pick spawners up and move them so that might be something I'll install later that mod is not a part of the minecraft pack but it was a part of the beta fee the beast pack same with miscraft so I might add both of those in later I, I don't know We're, we'll have to see okay so there is a blaze spawner and it there I don't know if there's a way to get over there or not I suppose I could fall down here. This is weird generation. It's like these two generated on top of each other or something. Hmm, yeah, these are definitely colliding. Okay, so I want to get some blaze powder so I can make my own magma cream. I just have to find slime balls. Which means I have to go hunting for a swamp. Because apparently... Because apparently finding magma creams is not, or magma cubes is not that easy. Let me kind of block all this stuff off. Yeah, and I don't have any fire resist potions, so fighting these blaze aren't going to be super easy to do. I do have a bow on me. How many arrows? Nine. Not very many at all. Oh, there's a wither skeleton too. Um... Let me see if I can shoot the blaze onto the bridge. Oop, right below him. Hopefully he dropped it on the bridge if he dropped one at all. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Dang it. Well, maybe I can get something for this wither skeleton. Well, these guys are much easier to hit in single player. They don't lag. Regular skeleton down there, and this does not connect. Wish I had ender pearl so I could just throw it down there and get over to that blaze spawner. What is this thing connected to? Is it not connected to anything? Uh, doesn't appear so. Looks like it goes over here. Hmm. There's one of those fire bat things down there. I'm afraid to <laughs> go over above the lava here because I know there's gas around. Maybe I'll do it anyway and then I'll just make myself some kind of a staircase up to this and so I'll be able to get back. Okay. 
That skeleton might shoot at me. Let me come down here. Get off the ledge. I want him on the ground so I can attack him. Oh, you're not going to cooperate, are you? Get off the ledge. <laughs> Stop it. Get off there. I don't want him to shoot me off, but I want to get his arrows that he drops, if he drops any. Oh, ooh, <laughs> almost off the edge with those. Man, that's crazy. So these blades are going to be a problem because they are going to see me and hang back and just try and fireball me. Let's see, can I just do this real quick? Nope. You missed. Oh, there's a spawner. Okay, so one spawned over there. I can't really get at him. What I can do is block this up so these guys don't go crazy and go all over the place. Maybe just leave one airspace for them to spawn in so I can kind of control where they spawn. Oh, 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 okay. Get out of the fire. Where are you? <laughs> These guys are nasty. There's a wither skeleton. So now I'm withered and I'm going to be on fire. Let me try and get away from these guys. Let my health recover. <laughs> Such a pain. Okay, so my health is recovered and most of those blaze have despawned. There's still that one guy hanging out on the back there. I don't know why he has not despawned yet. I've been away from there for long enough where I thought that they should. But let's get over here and put some more blocks around. Try and prevent future spawning as much as possible. And I think I want to do something like that. So if one spawns in there, they won't go all over the place. Um, I think... I think I should check out my X and Z coordinate, which one was going lower. So X is getting... Okay, so this side definitely needs more blocks. And... Yeah, this side needs more blocks. So these can spawn on the fence, so I need to get rid of this stuff. Just put blocks right there, should solve that problem. Whoops. Let's put some blocks there and there. Okay, and yeah, along this edge right here needs more blocks, I believe. That might be one further out than this, too. I'm going to have to double check. Get out of here, please. Come on. Get out of there. <laughs> Dang it. There we go. Yeah, I got to be careful. I can uh, accidentally walk off this thing, and I don't want to do that. Obviously. Okay. So, from the spawner, it should be diagonal 4. Yeah, this needs one more layer of blocks around it. Um, it's kind of difficult with these blaze hanging around. If I had a fire resist potion, this would be easier. Here we go. There's one where I want the guy to spawn. There's a blaze rod I can get. Yeah, this needs another layer of blocks around the outside. And that goes down to lava down below, so I don't want to go down there. Uh, maybe I can kind of lean over the edge a little bit. But don't hit me off. <laughs> These guys are nasty. Right like this. Can I? I don't have my bow select. Where's my bow? I need to get rid of this guy. Now we got these guys all over the place. Okay, time to back off to let my health recover so I don't die from burning. <laughs> don't hit me with that. Okay, I think I should be out of range of them. <laughs> yeah. So this needs another layer of blocks around the back side. And then all the blades should be shut off except for right there. And that one spot where they can spawn but they can't get out. And then I'll set up some kind of trap where I can just farm them for a little bit. <laughs> okay, so after fighting these blades for a while, coming in, putting a little bit of cobble down, running away, recovering my health, coming back, putting some more down. I finally got this working. So right above the spawner two space gap for these guys to spawn. It's the only place around that they can spawn. Oh, and there goes my sword. <laughs> Dang. But yeah, I have started to collect a, whoops, a good supply of blaze rods. I got five of them, which should give us 10 powder, which would turn into 10 magma cream. We already have one. I forget to get the exact amount of magma creams that we need to do this, to make the blast furnace. I'm just trying to push this guy off the edge. Good. <laughs> Man, okay. I'm almost out of arrows too. 
I've collected a decent amount of nether brick. I still have to collect soul sand. And I want to get a few more blaze rods, so I'll probably just use my diamond pick to kill these guys. Yeah, I want to get a few more of these blaze rods. Let's keep some nether rack on the bar. Just keep those guys in there, and it's an easy block to break. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to continue to do this for a little bit longer. I'm going to collect... Oh, maybe 20 blaze rods. Probably more than enough. I'm going to go and get a little bit more nether... Or, yeah, nether brick. I have over two stacks. Should be enough as well, but I just want to make sure I have everything that I need. Collect some soul sand and then get out of here. And I'll meet up with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I finally made my way out of the nether. I collected like 10 blaze rods or something like that. It should be enough for what we need to do. Uh, just... Over in the lower right hand corner, let's see, if I can use my mouse, over around this area, kind of off the screen here is where the base is, so right around over this island area is where our camp is, and right here, this is a green swamp land. So I don't know if slimes spawn here at night, but I came here during the nighttime, hoping they do, so I can get some slime balls, I can combine the slime balls with the blaze powder, and make our magma cream so i guess it's just a waiting game <laughs> should be any time now we will find out if these guys are spawning that's kind of some weird terrain over here i don't know what that is um looks like ice with snow on top is that what that is some zombies and some skeletons hopefully we'll see some slime spawning here i don't have to find a regular swamp biome what is this? This is a glacier. Glacier biome. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Uh, so I don't know how long I need to wait around to see if slimes are going to spawn. So I think I'm just going to walk around for just a little bit. Maybe I'll see some terrain that I haven't seen before that looks like a, maybe a glacier, a glacier extreme hills biome or something. I don't know. This is kind of cool seeing these other biomes here. And that's one of those crazy zombies with the red eyes. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to walk around. Because I, I know slime spawn in swamp biomes. But I do not know if they swamp in these green swamp biomes. I'm not seeing any slime gen. I would have expected to see one if they did spawn here. Huh. I might have to do some actual exploration around and find a real or a regular swamp biome. Why is this all lit up over here? Ah, beehive. Okay. Yeah, I still should probably find out about those bees. I really don't know. Oh, here's one of those. <laughs> I think they're called brainy zombies because they drop the brains. I, I don't know. The regular zombie over here. You got a gold zombie, gold gears, got an enchanted helmet it looks like. Didn't drop anything. Hmm. So, I am not seeing any slimes. So, I'm going to go ahead and assume the slimes do not spawn here. That's too bad. There's a creeper and a little zombie guys and some spiders. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I'm just going to make my way back to my base. Oh, I ran out of food. I can't, can't sprint. I'm going to have to kill these guys. Get out here, zombie. <laughs> Those guys hit quite a bit harder, too, than the regular zombies. There we go. Alright, guys. So I've been looking around for quite some time, and it turns out this green swamp, or green swamp land, or whatever they call this over here, uh, right on the other side of here was this wasteland area, and just past it was a regular swamp land. Now, my base is just over... Let's see, can we look at this map? Yeah, again, it's kind of in the... I guess right where I'm pointing at it on the right hand side, just right over that direction, goes to the base. Uh, over that direction just a little bit more this way. You can kind of see where my arrow is pointing on the screen, the red, uh, is the village. So, yeah, not too far, but far enough that I kind of searched all around trying to find one and finally came across one. Now, I'm hearing a bunch of zombies underneath this wasteland. I don't know if that's a spawner or a cave. I hear bats, so it might just be a cave. Um, I guess we can kind of poke down. See if we can see anything. I mean, we got a little bit of time before it turns night. Um, 
I'm guessing this is probably just a cave or something. Yeah, a bunch of bats, creepers, zombies. <laughs> oh, there's one of those crazy zombies with a sword. Get out of here. Oh, he dropped a sword, huh? What do we got? Uh, yeah, iron sword with a little bit of durability. I think that's the first time I've seen uh, one of those zombies actually drop a weapon. Uh, okay, so I really don't want to go caving right now. I'm just interested in collecting a little bit of slime ball so we can finish the project we were working on. Uh, also, there's some oil over here, so that's good. I'll remember that for later. Uh, but yeah, I just gotta wait for the sun to go down, some slimes to spawn, I'm gonna kill them. Then I'll collect their slime balls, then we can go ahead and make what we need to make. So I will be back. Okay, so finally got everything we need. We got everything from the nether, the nether bricks. We got slime balls, blaze rods. Uh, maybe I will hold on to a few of those. I don't really know how many of these we need. Let me just make 10 blaze powder. We'll make up to 10 magma cream. And... I'm going to have to figure out how to do this. I think it's either like this or the other way around. Maybe it doesn't matter. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's blast furnace brick. And that gives us four per. And I'm not sure how many we need. 32. Okay. Well, let's just make 40 since we had that many magma creams. Right. So I believe you have to put these in like a 3x3 three three with the center being hollow. I've never made one of these before. Oh, I didn't make that 3x3, three three, did I? Okay, and... Yeah, just like this. I think this is how it goes. I'm not really sure how you know when you're done or how tall this has to be. Maybe one more with the ceiling on it. Is that what it is? No. <laughs> Maybe I made that one too tall. Let me see if I make this a little smaller if anything happens. Hmm. Might have to look this one up. I'm not quite sure how these work then. I thought it was something like this, and I thought this is all you needed. Maybe I still didn't make it tall enough. Maybe this needs to be five blocks tall. Hmm, let's see. We got one, two, three, four. Yeah, I could try making this five blocks tall. Come on. Yep. <laughs> okay. So let's get rid of that. Oh, that goes all the way down. I want that brick. I don't want to lose it. Okay, so that's three. Let's do four. And I don't think I'm going to have enough to do the top of that. Ding. <laughs> so did I have one more magma cream? I think I did. Yeah, this is the one that I got off the slime. So let's make this. Or, yeah, the uh, magma cube, not the slime. So is it like this? Is this what we needed to get this thing to work? Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to look this one up. I thought this would be all that you need. I guess that is too tall. Aha! So I figured out what I was doing wrong. So this needs to be 3x3x4 three by three by like I was doing, except this bottom block needs one of these blast furnace bricks in it as well. So let's do... Okay, so this is now 1, 2, 3. It needs to go up one more with a ceiling on it. And right in there. Okay, so this should work. Yep, there we go. Now it's got this little thing. And if we right click on this thing, now we can convert. I think it's refined iron into steel. I might have to. Well, what happens if we just put iron in there? Anything? Do I have to use coal? So it's doing something. Maybe it's just it's going to convert regular iron into steel. I th thought it might have been... Yeah, I thought it might have been refined iron, but I don't know. We'll find out. Aha, there we go. There's our steel ingot. Very good. So it takes, I think, five charcoal per steel ingot. And let's see. I wanted a diamond drill, was it? So how many of these do I need? I need, those are titanium. I don't even know how to get titanium, but we need this one first. So I need five of those. Okay, well, I'm going to get working on this. And I think uh, we're at the end of today's episode. I, I know I recorded quite a lot of stuff. I'm going to be cutting out quite a lot of stuff. But, yep, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching.
and we'll see you next time.